Okay, so this is the next stage of the acrylic painting. I'm going to show you the palette here. I've I've mixed up this lovely kind of warm pink. Um, it's uh, using some crimson red, um, a fair bit of white and some yellow. And then I've done the navy blue, which is mainly ultramarine um, with some black in. I've just kept it quite simple. Um, I've, I've put out some of the colours that I'm going to use next, the greens, and we could probably mix those as I go along. Um, I'm just thinking about how to approach it. I think I'm going to work inwards. Um, and again, print, print the lightest tones first, but I think I do need to get that, that navy blue background in so that I can work against it. Okay, so I've, got, I've tried out the colours here, you can see on the corner. And I'm going to start blocking in around the jug using this lovely pink. Just block it in. I'm again using, this is a, a number eight acrylic brush. Um, you can work against the um, masking tape, so that's why you've got it around. Um, and just pop in that negative space. And then I'm going to use, I might wash my brush off and carry on using this brush because it's quite a good size. Although I did mix it up using, mix the navy up using a bigger brush. Let's just see how that plays out because there's quite a lot on the brush still. So let's put in the very darkest over here. What we're going to do is perhaps work over this with um, my outshot note. Um, work over this with um, some uh, the details if you want to put in the sort of squares and stuff. I think the way I'm going to approach this is to loosen it loosen the paint and sort of almost wash it on so use it a bit more like a, a watercolour wash just to start with for those lighter tones um, and just I can always put a bit of white in there and drag it across while it's wet or you can blend it so let's just get these darker ones in that's it with the lighter looser a bit of looser colour in there um, I think I might use that other brush as my white picker upper and perhaps bring in a little bit of white to that and then um, just see how the white affects it it's kind of greyish the tone when you're looking at it there's sort of greens in it as well I was wondering whether it, while it's wet whether I could just work that in keep that light and almost blend it on the paper here um, so that I'm picking I'm getting kind of like a a graduated effect so it's sort of I want to kind of get that drapiness of the fabric I've hung it on a hook above the composition and it's sort of draping really in a really lovely manner so let's just use that dark brush again so you could use you could move between these two brushes and then loosen it up a bit I seem to have painted on my I seem to have painted on my iPad holder my phone holder rather Ex exclusively because I'm reaching across for my equipment that's quite funny I've got some lovely lovely mixed colors on my on my clamp so let's let's work around the negative space of this leaf and again bring the lighter colors in so you're sort of blending along you can always make these darker but I kind of like squinting at it want to get these darker tones get these tones almost correct as I'm going along it's actually quite light as you're coming along to the lip of the of the jug itself so let's keep that quite light because the light's hitting it there and the light's coming in from the right hand side so again I'm going to move around the negative space it might be better to use this again this smaller brush it's a bit easier to use 